Ladies and gentlemen, the Mega Halo fan vote reaches its final fourth secret round. And people have been speculating for a long time what this secret round will be, and the answer is voting on a new weapon to not only be produced in this set, but also to enter the roster for future Mega Construct sets. You guys will be able to choose between the Sentinel Beam, Disruptor, Cinder Shot, and Heat Wave. I think I've already made up my mind which I want to win, but I won't actually tell you in this video. I'm going to lay out all the information, lay out the intel on previous weapon molds and which ones we still haven't seen and let you make your own decision. Round four opens today and lasts until the end of this week and then the winner of this round will be announced on Wednesday of next week and then we'll have all the information. We have our Neon Superfly Warthog, our Gen 12 Mongoose and our Neon Superfly and Estate Gold Fire Team. That's two fire teams of four with the new Firefall and Stormfall helmets. Man, that is actually a lot of new stuff being produced in one set and I gotta say I am really hyped to see the Neon on Superfly uh, figures especially. When I've been looking at uh, some in-depth pictures of Neon Superfly, man, the amount of paint apps that will have to be on those helmets is gonna be wild. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Mega do. And pre-orders for the set will go up next month and then ships exclusively on Mattel Creations, ships worldwide next year. So Mega have been producing Halo Infinite sets for about three years and they started in 2020 actually, you know, before the game even released and then was even delayed by a year. And we've seen quite a few molds come out. We're actually seeing an updated sidekick being released now. It's actually replaced the old sidekick mold that we saw as far back as the Master Chief vs. Brute Warrior 2020 pack. And in the original wave of New Mega, they released a manga sidekick and bulldog mold, and they were all pretty good. I always thought the sidekick was a little too small. The bulldog was classic, and I, actually a lot of those weapon molds, including figure molds back then, were like the first time the community had ever seen, or like the broader Halo community had ever seen these molds. We didn't even know what a bulldog shot gun was back then. We just thought it was a new updated shotgun design when we saw that original mold from Mega. So we had a Mangler, Sidekick, and Bulldog originally, and over the last couple of years, we've had the Shock Rifle, Commando, Pulse Carbine, and Ravager. The Pulse Carbine and Ravager have been even more recent. The Pulse Carbine coming out in the new Bizarre Battleground set. I think it's that one, or maybe it's the other one of the two. And the Pulse Carbine... Now, that was the Pulse Carbine. <laughs> Wait, what was the other one? The Ravager, yeah. That came out in one of the helmets last year. So we've been having a drip feed of these molds. We're getting the new Bandit weapon in Season 3 uh, Echoes Within. I think it's Echoes Within of Halo Infinite. And I think Mega's probably just going to re-release the No Scope DMR as a Bandit for any future set. But I'd be interested to see if they eventually produce a mold. We've got some interesting choices between the Sentinel Beam, Disruptor, Cinder Shot, and Heat Wave. They all have some merits. I think some more than others. And again, I won't be biased here, but I'll state the facts. You know, we've had a Sentinel Beam for a long time. Mega have stated that the Sentinel Beam is no longer in production. They had some issues trying to adapt it to the new Sentinel that came out in the Infinite Series 4 blind bags. So it's obvious Mega does want to make a new Sentinel beam. This one would probably be way more adaptive. It would be more in line with new figures. And I imagine if they designed it, they would incorporate a way that you could attach it to your Sentinels. Probably that little hole in the bottom would then go into the Sentinel. I don't I remember Jan's exact words, but he said something along the lines of that the Sentinel beam was an old mold that couldn't be produced anymore. When Mega makes molds, they become brittle and unusable over time. And if you don't produce something, if it's not in production for a long period of time, the mold becomes unusable and you basically have to design it again. Or at least that's what I've been gathering from my information. So I think Mega definitely feels like it's time to make a new Sentinel Beam. Do I think it's like so necessary? I don't know. I mean, I have like a box full of about 40 Sentinel Beams, but it would be cool to see a new mold for sure. The Disruptor, I think, will be a fan favorite. I didn't really enjoy the Disruptor at first, but I think they uh, buffed it quite a bit and it is quite fun to use nowadays, especially in Fiat. It would be cool to see how they make a mold like that, and especially cool to see a painted version of that. I would love to see some kind of electricity pulsing through it. Then we have the Cinder Shot and the Heat Wave. I honestly see these as being more popular votes than the other two, but I, again, it's hard to predict sometimes where the fans will go. You know, I unboxed a 3D printed Heat Wave recently from LS3D Customs, and that was incredible, so I would love to see more of that. The Cinder Shot, I feel like it's the most complicated of the molds. Like, it would definitely be the largest of the weapons, so it would be interesting for Mega to make that. The heat wave, it would be cool to, uh, I mean, you could technically get two variants of the heat wave. One for the vertical, one for the horizontal firing, but I don't think they'll do that. Yeah, heat wave, cinder shot, disruptor, and sentinel beam. I'm kind of surprised the skewer's not in this list. Pretty much the only two weapons that are missing of this list and the ones we've already got are the skewer and the hydra. But we have had a hydra since Halo 5, so it's not really a necessary mold. But the skewer, I don't know. So I've got uh, this here. This is a 3D printed work. This is painted by Flustered MCX, I believe. This is just...
just exceptional. This has been on my desk for a long time. I just think it's so gorgeous. So I would love to see a skewer produced by Mega officially soon. The skewer is alongside my Diminisher of Hope. Again, a 3D printed weapon. And you can actually buy so many good quality 3D printed weapons from places like LS 3D Printed and Dougie Customs. And Mega have actually come in support of 3D printed pieces in the past. Yan said they're a natural extension of the Mega brand, which I think is a really cool thing to say. Instead of just sort of blocking that element of creativity from the community, I think it's really good to embrace it. But yeah, Sentinel Beam Disruptor, Cindershot and Heatwave. I would imagine, seeing as uh, we get two Firefall and two Stormfall helmets, I think it's probably safe to say we might get two of the weapon in this set. And then again, it's going to be produced generally. It's going to be added to the roster for Mega. And when I look at this list, I mean, Mega's not far off uh, finishing all of their different weapons. I've said in the past that I think Mega should definitely do community fundraising events like GoFundMe, where they just ask for a certain donation amount, maybe even like a Mega Halo fan club where you could sign up. You donate, say, an average of $10 every month, and you get access to new molds, to new votes, to new all sorts of things. I think it would be really cool, like a Mega Halo fan club. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see. What else is there to say other than we are entering our fourth and final round of voting, and I think it's pretty dope that they just added on a little goated decision at the end to pick a new weapon. I see the comment section all the time talking about what new weapons people want to see. So it's cool that Mega is given the choice to us. I also saw a lot of people get ahead of themselves and say, oh, this secret vote is going to be a new signature set announcement. Like, we got to all manage our expectations sometimes and know that, like, this was a fourth and final round of the Mega Halo Fan Vote 2023 of one set. So I think it's a really cool thing. I saw a lot of people also predicting weapon skins, but to be honest, I'm, I would rather vote on an actual weapon than weapon skins. And Mega, if you're listening to this, I mean, hey, we got the Neon Superfly and the Estate Gold coatings, so maybe the weapons should just be made in black. Solid black and solid gold. I don't know, that's something to think about. I don't think these will be painted weapons, to be honest, although maybe if we're voting on this one new weapon, they might have it painted like as the only painted weapon. I don't know. Only time will tell. But in general, this has been an absolute riot to present these Mega Halo fan vote rounds of voting to you guys. It's been a lot of fun. And remember, this ships exclusively on Mattel Creations, and pre-orders go up next month, and to the best of my knowledge, that is the only time you will ever be able to pre-order this set, or ever able to order this set. I think it is literally just going to be straight to consumer produced to the quantity that we order. And that's also a good way to avoid scalping as well because no matter how much the scalpers order, as long as you put your order in, they're just going to produce your set. I don't think it's a limited quantity at all, and this ships worldwide on Mattel Creations. I honestly think it's an incredibly important thing that we support Mattel Creations, especially with distribution nowadays. We need Mega to be able to produce these sets and ship direct to us. This directly combats uh, worldwide distribution issues, especially for people in England, where they can order direct from Mattel Creations. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to vote for, what you want to see in future votes, and how you've been enjoying this vote so far. Mega wants to see that this is uh, a supported thing, so they continue to make more Mega Halo fan votes in the future. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay oh so super duper safe out there, and the domain is signing off.